So, oh, hello and a very warm welcome to everyone joining us here for this friendly between Germany's under-20s and France's under-20s. The two teams, of course, already playing each other a few days ago as a part of this international break. Germany with a 3-1 win, 3-0 up at one stage, about an hour into the game, conceding towards the end of it but overall a very impressive display a convincing performance and result for them and their side so definitely plenty to work with coming into this one and this an opportunity for them to underline that great results in the first meeting with another back-to-back -back wins it would of course be the perfect international break for Germany's under 20s Nevertheless, an entertaining game, surely ahead yet again, as was the last one. Two fantastic groups of young players with extremely bright futures. That was apparent from both teams in the first meeting. And that will surely be the case again here today. As already mentioned, Germany with that fantastic win. Vanna and Kretzik both getting on the score sheet in what was a really, really solid display from start to finish. A very mature performance from Germany. And Hannes Wolf saying after the game just how pleased he was with his players and their performance. But he's under no illusion that it will be a very tough test again here today. France losing. Uh, game on Friday by three goals to one. Le Breton, the man who uh, did manage to uh, peg one back for them late in the uh, second half. Slight pause in play here. Just waiting uh, for the action uh, to uh, get back underway. There's uh, Collins. 
Is Oliveira to his right. Right back position. Decides to play it to Breunig instead. Early ball in. Not a bad cross either. Tom Rotter, that left back with a really good performance on Friday. Kein Foul, kein Foul, kein Foul, halt ihn da! Ja, Joscha, bleib drauf, bleib drauf, bleib drauf, nächster! Just saying that you can hear the coaches on the German side as well. Let's give a, a great insight to what goes on, what is said on the sidelines. Kylian Donk. The ball up back to the keeper, Patoulier. France, like Germany, of course, uh, constant production of young players. It's almost like a factory. They just uh, keep producing these sensational talents. The uh, majority of this French squad has played their trade in France. There's a number of Ligue 1 and Ligue 2 sides. One or two to play away from home. The uh, number two for France, who is out in the starting lineup as well. William Michael Brancy currently with Hamburg. Brought down by Dong. Dong going it alone here across the face of goal. No one there to latch onto it though. Picked up on the far side. And Khalil uh, Faya trying to curl one, looking for that top right corner, but just cuts under the ball slightly. Sees it go uh, high and wide in the end. Is Namdi Collins. Collins making his fifth appearance at under 20 level, the Eintracht Frankfurt central defender. Link up play just on the edge of the French penalty area, not quite coming to fruition there. Germany able to hold on to the ball. French bench calling for a foul. The referee leaves the whistle by his side, though. Here is Collins again. Shipped it out wide and onto the left. Oh, Tom Rotter. There's Wagner again wearing the captain's armband. Little dink through the middle. KK Top able to get the shot off. The deflection takes it wide and out for. In Germany corner. Good little spell there. On this uh, Germany side. <laughs> Germany's under 20s, a team that does have plenty of height in it. The likes of Collins, top. Even the left back, Tom Rotter. And cause a, a real threat aerially. 
didn't quite come off that time. As Nicolas Oliveira sends it back to Backhaus, the man in between the sticks in Germany here this afternoon. Lovely ball out wide and switch of play. Just to feed it into the middle there, looking for Ilias Anza, who's making a running towards the near post there. Very positive and promising start here. Right, Germany. Hannes Wolf, of course, does have options on the bench as well. Noll and Ostrinski, the two backup keepers. Ben Bobzien, Kabadai, Herold, Lewis Hansen. And Raul Paula, the players that uh, could very possibly give him some game time here this afternoon as well. Germany with another corner. Anton! an opportunity there. Oh, just uh, bobbled its way through. I think it was uh, kick it top. It was uh, closest to it then. And then almost seemed a little surprised to see it come his way. To travel through a, a sea of bodies, both German and French. And just couldn't quite react in time. A simple touch, any touch really. Have helped it into the back of the net from uh, well, less than a meter out, it looked like. Germany have started the better here. There's the ball over the top. Half chance there for France. It was Kylian Don. Just couldn't really get the ball out from underneath his feet as it came over the top. Ball out wide. Here's Mincarelli. <laughs> offside flag has gone up. Here's Khalil Fayat. He just drifted into an offside position there. Dong with the overlap, making the run inside, but to no avail as the whistle went. Brojnik happy to take his time. Wagner dropping deep. And create that extra option. And, uh, stretch the French front three a little. Very much part of the modern game. You see those central midfielders dropping back in between the two central defenders. And sort of create a back three along the full backs to then spread out wide. Playing out from the back. Part and parcel of today's game. Time and space for Tom Rotter. Has a look up, tries to float one in towards the back post. Little too much height and distance on it though. Picked up by Oliveira. Back with Collins again. Now Oliveira has time to put in a cross. Didn't quite get enough height on that either to get it past the first defender at the near post. France will concede the corner though. Ilias! Ilias, 
wenn er schlägt, dann guckt vor den Brand zu kommen. In der Bewegung dann vor den ersten Mann. So ist gut, aber Ausgang. Franz Kretzig lining up this corner. Good. Good opportunity again for Germany. They're knocking on the door here. Asking all the right questions early on. Will they be rewarded for their efforts though? Chance to swing another one into the danger zone here. Oh, not a bad effort at all. It's a well worked corner. Finding Wagner on the edge of the area, just inside, to be precise. His effort, though, a little too tame to really uh, test Patoulier in go. Collins under pressure from Kilian Don. Needs to uh, go back to back house. Off well by Wagner. And the pressure by Germany. It's KK Top trying to hold the ball up, waiting for support. He manages to bulldoze his way through. It's really well played. It comes back to him again. Now a rotter. A chance to swing one in. And he decides to just slow things down again. Germany playing it patiently. Well, the senior squad over the weekend, fantastic performance against France. Some would say Germany back to their best in that game. Have to agree. Now a chance for Germany to take the lead here. And I'm not sure how he's missed that. I think it was Alyosha Kemlein. Found himself with just the keeper to beat there. Just drags it wide. He was looking for that bottom left corner. Look anywhere on target there, and Germany are one nothing up. Le Bleu getting away with that one. All back with the French captain, Johan Corré. It's out wide now, not too many numbers forward for France. And uh, very nearly deflected into the German goal there. It was uh, Breunig who got the tackle in, or the, the challenge. Just uh, skimmed off the leg, very nearly found its way into the far corner. You know, Backhaus scrambling across. Delivery shortly thereafter. Quite as impressive, Germany with the goal kick, but both teams with opportunities to score here. Germany have had the better of the game so far with just under a quarter of an hour gone. It's that opportunity for France equally. As close as that one moments ago for Alyosha Kemlein. Getting ball into Rotte. Great first touch to cut inside. But two Germany players getting in each other's way a little. Shame. It was initially a, a good move there. 
What a time and time again finding himself in space out on that left flank. And as we know, Tim Botter is a fullback who loves to get forward, get involved in attacks. Does have a great delivery into the box with that left foot of his as well. Tom Alexander Rotter making his sixth appearance at under 20 level. Does have one goal to his name already. Quickly, France now with the corner. That was a uh, clever free kick there by Khalil Fayad, the number 10, very much the playmaker for Le Bleu. Mohamed Chop will take this corner, whips one in with the left foot. Headed away by Breunig. And there's one thing that this French side does perhaps lack is sort of height within their squad. Not the biggest team. Quite apparent there with that corner as well. Came in, didn't really see anyone able to early challenge any of the German defenders. A amateur team that likes to keep the ball on the ground. Keep it neat and tidy. Technically very gifted. Nice place past that side by Fayad. Khalil Fayad, just 19 years old, part of the Montpellier setup. Big things expected from him on the league girl side. does extremely well there for, for a moment he was playing for the foul quickly realized that the whistle wasn't going to be blown and speedily got back up try and uh, keep the ball rolling keep germany in possession of it pressure on the keeper not a bad ball out there by uh, patoulier starting to settle into it a bit now as well and what a goal that could have been beautiful strike just with the outside of the boot down meant it was always just curling away from that top right corner towards the intended target bench asking for more patience from the players in white Wagner to uh, Collins Ja, 
Oliveira on the same page there, just lacking the execution with that final ball though. Oliveira making a good run, Wagner spotting him, unable to pick him out. Cutting inside. There's a hopeful little dink through the middle there. And Colin Fayad, the closest player, making that run, but kept his run more diagonal than straight down that center area. Free kick will go France's way there for a foul initially on Fayad, who all that going to ground then wiped out Wagner. So it will be a Germany foul, I thought. France might be getting it there. Franz Kretzik, goal scorer in the first game between these two on Friday. Decides to play it short. Kem Ryan caught in possession. Mike is on here. It's Kylian Dong goes down. Be a free kick right on the edge of the penalty area. Yellow card for Collins or Oliveira. The players are a little confused as to who's being shown that yellow as well. I think it's going to be Oliveira who actually picks up the booking. Be uh, quite honest, it looked like Kilian Dong really had full control over the ball there as he was running with it at pace. Ball down unfairly by uh, Collins and Oliveira. According to the referee, anyway. Now France have a free kick in a very promising position. And they have players who can whip them in from this sort of range. Fayad and Dong, the two players standing over the ball. Money's on the Khalil Fayad to have a go here. He's played it short. And that is a very well worked free kick. It's Mohamed Chop. Absolutely bangs it into that top left corner. That's a move straight off the training ground. Defence caught napping there. It is a beautiful goal from the French. Oh. 
And as Wolf did say, it would be a whole new challenge. And those are words that are ringing very true at the moment. A new challenge for his under 20s now as well. They will have to come from behind and turn the game around. Fire, but again, just drifting into an offside position. Collins holding on to it. Too long. Another chance here for France. Thankfully, Backhouse able to get his body behind the ball. Mohamed Chop looking for his second. Would have been two in as many minutes. from uh, Collins, looking for Ilias Anza. Too close to uh, Patouille. Touch and in. And Germany to win the ball back. German bench a little unhappy. Is that how he was able to hold on to the ball there? Franz Kretzik was put into danger by that challenge. It's Kylian Don. Still Kylian Don. Sure, we'll lay it off to Mincarelli. France certainly have found their rhythm now, that goal. It's very apparent that confidence is now running through their veins. Making the ball from side to side nicely. Mincarelli, it's in a low cross. Hands up. Combination with Oliveira, able to get the ball clear, but France keeping Germany pegged back inside their own half here at the moment. Past. And he want the free kick. Not going to get it though.
Challenge there. Very heavy challenge indeed. Germany will now have an opportunity to try and peg one back here. This is Wagner, who is on the receiving end of it, the Germany captain, back on his feet and able to continue, it would seem, which is good news. What a chance now for Germany. They have given themselves something to work with in the second half. A goal just before the break would do them the world of good. Have plenty of options here. Kretzik. It's not direct. There's Alyosha Kemlein. Indirect. Arms open. This end spielen for France. Hey, Alyosha, Ablage for France. Alyosha, Ablage for France. It's indirect, you must up legging. For this, Franz of the Link, Fuß legging. I'm going to go off for by. An indirect free kick here. Why exactly it's an indirect free kick? I'm not so sure. This is a peculiar one. So there will have to be a touch on it before they can get the shot off. It is Franz Kretzik who's looking to line this one up. Alyosha Kemlein looking to lay it off to him. Well worked is Rotter. Has to play it hard and low. Across the face of goal, comes back out to the left back. Under pressure straight away, surrounded by three French players. Germany will have the throw. To say I'm still a little uh, perplexed as to why that was an indirect free kick. Very interesting one from the referee there. Lovely touch. Can't quite thread it through. Came light to uh, Collins. Germany looking to finish the half strong. the ball around nicely. Captain play by Rotter. Really strong play again from the left back. Tries to bring a teammate into play. Doesn't quite come off though. And now France with the quick counter. Fired bombing forward down at this far side. And a chop. Looking at for a second there. I tell you what, he wasn't far from finding that far corner. Perhaps a little selfish there, but attacking players will always go for goal if any sort of an opening does come their way. It is a finish for France's first goal. Shouldn't be too surprising to see him and curl one again. 
into that top corner, just like he did with that uh, well-worked free kick from Libler. the free kick for the foul on uh, Rudy Cohen. Oh, Anton Kade convinced he played the ball rather than the player. The reaction from the player perhaps playing a part in the referee's decision. A dramatic one. Certainly moving all right now. Number 15 on the ball here. Soft decision going against Germany. Noël Le Breton going to ground rather easily there. Slight nudge from Collins, but nothing to write home about really. Collins taking his time now. Hands up. Germany will now get the free kick. Strong hold up play there by Anza. So Hannes Wall's side with an opportunity to try and create something here, right at the death here, at the end of this first half. It's not a bad delivery. Only a header nowhere near the target in the end by KK Top. Just got underneath it, came off the top of the head rather than the forehead. And just went sky high. space to work with does well to win France the throw Pocket pick there. Germany looking defensively a little more sound after conceding that second. Almost a minute and a half of stoppage time already played. He just has a quick look at his watch. 
bad cross by Oliveira. And Patulje unable to hold on to the ball. Germany, it would seem, will still have time to take the corner. Exactly, convincing goalkeeper. And the Frenchman in between the sticks. Try and put him to the test again here with this corner. Here comes the delivery. Hands up, rising above the rest, but then can't guide that header towards goal. And that will bring an end to this first half. A disappointing first half for Hannes Wolf and his Germany under 20 side. Conceding twice in the first 45, two cracking goals, it has to be said. One from a set piece, the other from open play, both equally impressive in terms of the finish itself. So a work to do in the second for Germany. They trail by two against Le Bleu. That second half is just around the corner. Make sure you join us for it. Sieh mal zu, dass ich heute ein paar Mal aufs Feld laufe. Thank <laughs> you. 
ganz kurz noch meine Hörung. Andreas und gleich weg immer zurück.
Fahrt auf den Refrain. It's raining. So a warm welcome back for the second half here between Germany and France at under 20 level. The second of two friendlies between the two sides over the course of the international break. Both teams in Spain here on their international break. And Germany coming out 3-1 winners in the first meeting. It's France who lead by two goals to nil at halftime here in the second. Germany will be playing from right to left here in the second 45. Trail by two, work to do. Can they turn things around? Quite the challenge ahead in this second half for Hannes Wolf's side. You have to give credit where it is due. France, although started a little slow, and once they found their rhythm, became very hard to stop. Two really well-worked goals, one from a set piece, the other from open play. The pass for the second as well by Khalil Fayad to pick out Kylian Dong, who then still had work to do, was absolutely sublime. And Dong then coming up with
And a superb finish as well. Very little Mio Backhaus could do in between the sticks for Germany. Very little he could do with the first as well. Beautifully worked free kick. Again, uh, Fayad, the provider with the assist. Looked like he was going to line up the free kick from a really good area. So you can understand why the German defence were oh, convinced he was going to go for goal. Instead, he just laid it off to his right. Perfectly into the path of uh, the arriving Mohamed Cho, who took it first time. And with that left boot cold it into the top left corner. Backhouse stuck in the mud, and all he could do was really watch it sail past and into the back of the net. So France with a two-goal cushion. Still waiting for the referee, it would seem. Normally it's the referee waiting for the players. And this time the officials deciding to take their time. Second half will get underway in just a few. That <laughs> does eventually stroll out onto the pitch. Still doesn't seem like he's in uh, too much of a rush here to get things going again. So the action back underway. Germany playing from right to left. like either side has made any changes. There is Wagner. Now why to uh, Tom Rotter. So a lot of balls come his way. In that uh, first half. Yusuf Kabadai. Now out on the left wing, it would seem, for Germany, the uh, number 11. So Hannes Wolf making at least one change. I stand corrected. Eventually, go. Came a little late there. Hands on the move again. They will have a free kick in uh, almost exactly the same position. When they scored the first goal. And I have to say, Kylian Dant on that left wing has really been in a, th a thorn in the side of this German defence. Has been absolutely electric with the ball. Fantastic pace and close control, causing all sorts of problems. Does have a goal to his name as well, scoring France's second. And Germany will have to be careful, they don't concede a third here. So Khalil Fayad lay off for the first goal of the game from a very similar spot. Looks like he's lining this one up for a direct shot on goal though. He's in a great spot. He'll be looking for that top left corner. If he can get it up and over, he does get it up and over the wall, but it just wouldn't dip for him. Oh, 
Reinig to Rotte. Tries to feed it back to Wagner. A little off target, but thankfully Backhouse is there. Pick up the pieces. Not quite sure where his pass went. Camera team struggling to keep up. Chop. Latch on to it. Into uh, Dong. Just to uh, cut it back. Wolf there, asking his players to uh, put in a little more effort even when out of possession. He's not seeing enough from them here. penalty area now perhaps a chance to get a ball into the middle it's cut back nicely just holding on to it a little too long there Franz Kretzik Bag. He started the game or start to the second half for Germany. I'm sure, Hannes Wolf will have wanted his players to come out and sort of dictate the pace of the game right from the get go in the second half. too much work to do the French captain and that's central defense KK top the number nine up front for Germany has had scraps to feed on really and France playing their way out of trouble well Michael Brancy. Mohamed Cho. Just offside. Kavadai. Half time substitute. Looking to link up. Tom Rotte, Not too much weight on that pass from Germany's number three. The uh, France captain, Johan Corre, has stayed down here. Coming together with Rotte, it would seem. Looks like he's got a problem with his left ankle here. 
Ja, dann komm auch. Ja, dann komm auch. Like he might be in trouble. Trying to put some weight on that as well. The captain's armband is being removed, which would suggest that his game has now come to an end. He's going to be helped off the pitch as well. Nice to see plenty of respect between both him and uh, Kawadai. The two players that did come together thought initially it was Rotter that collided into him, but. Here's the German half-time substitute, Schalke man. So, uh, Mamadou Koulibaly coming on uh, to uh, replace him. Under 21 regular. Hey, hey, hey. Straight into that central defense as fans come forward here. Break is on. Another chance for the French and they take it again. And it is that man out wide, Kylian Don, who comes up with his second, France's third. 3 0 now the score. And it's another breakaway with pace and power, getting the job done. So very similar to the first game between these two, apart from the fact that uh, everything is flipped on its head. It was Germany who were three nothing up at roughly this stage of the game. France, the team, firmly in control. <laughs> Wagner, lets the ball run across his body. Otter's first time ball is picked off, so too have a Reinick just putting his boot through it with no real direction in the ball. And pressure there, allowing Germany to win the ball back inside the French half. An uphill struggle has now come, become somewhat of a mountain to climb. It takes some doing to get a result here now for Hannes Wolf's team. That's a nice ball inside. Kretzik has a look up. Doesn't see a way through. Tries to pick out uh, Kabadai, but this goes astray. And William Michael Brancy hacked down by Kretzik there. And he's staying down now as well. Look like he's going to be able to uh, continue though. However, there's a German player being seen to. I think it's Kretzik who's also involved in that coming together just moments ago, and it looks like he's come off a little worse than the uh, Frenchman. He's got a problem with his left arm. Yeah. And around the wrist area, it would seem. Uh -huh. oh, 
Thumbs up from the medical team. So that would suggest Franz Kretzik will be able to continue. Plays his club football in Austria. Just uh, neighboring Germany for Austria Wien. One of uh, two players, Ben Bobzien, another who plays in Austria with Austria Lustenau. So it looks like Raul Paula has come on to uh, replace uh, Kretzik. Hannes Wolf not taking any chances. Of course, it is a friendly. And uh, the clubs will want to see their players come back fit and healthy as well. Especially with the end of the season ahead for a lot of them. The important time in that club football. Certainly played his part in the first game against France in that 3-1 win. Hasn't quite gone to plan. Second time round. Still, there is time left, roughly half an hour to go. For Germany to try and uh, implement uh, a little bit of damage control here. Shipped out wide. There is Rotte. Have a die with the overlap. Rotte decides to just ship one in anyway. Kick it top closest to it. But uh, Patouille. Able to get both hands on the ball. Comes out and collects it well under pressure. Germany eager to get the ball rolling as quickly as possible. With time running out here. Now top just couldn't get the ball out from underneath his feet. Into an area where he could perhaps get a shot off or maybe bring a teammate into play as well. And France on the counter again have been so dangerous with these uh, breakaways. That man, Kylian Don, at the heart of everything going forward so far. And not a bad effort there. Oh, Mohamed Cho to his uh, weaker right foot, but nearly finds the top corner again. And for placement rather than power with that one. It wasn't too far away. All uh, one back. As the substitute Raul Paula has his pocket picked deep inside his own half and gives away the free kick as well. Kaladai tries to bring it down on his chest, just sees the ball run away from him. forced to go back as 
as Ayman Kari closing down well. Number 11 now out on the right wing. Hopeful ball over the top, but not really to anyone. That sort of game here for Germany. Really contrasting performances. Absolutely dominating the first encounter between these two. Of course, it is a strange scenario. Playing each other in back to back games in such a short period of time. It does, of course allow opponents to ready themselves for the next game or do things differently and certainly doing things differently here very nearly scoring a, fir a fourth there As again Mohamed Cho was uh, very close the time on his favorite left foot any more pace and power behind it again not missing by much he really has been impressive in French number nine France very much just sitting back now, playing counter-attacking football. Which, at three, nothing up. Shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. And Germany will have a penalty. Kiki Top brought down in the box by Traoré. French players convinced that it was the ball that was played rather than uh, the man. The referee didn't waste much time in pointing to the spot, though. Germany with a chance to peg one back here. And it's the player who has brought down KK Top, the number nine. He will try and give Germany a lifeline and something to work with. KK Top with one goal in two appearances for the under 20s. Now two in three. For the number nine and Schalke frontman. Hasn't had a lot to work with today. Really has been feeding on scraps, but when called upon from the penalty spot, more than happy to do the business and get the job done. Anton Kade making way, Ben Bobzien coming on, Wagner coming off as well, Matis Hansen coming on to replace him in central midfield. Some fresh legs and now just a two-goal deficit. En la ida cómo quedaron? No, yo no lo sé. Creo que van 4-4 en el global. Sí. Oh, Paula, not too aggressive there for the referees liking. for the uh, switch of play able to find it and again don't Walk down unfairly Germany struggling to find a way to stop the left winger 
Miscontrol. Oh, Mohamed Chuck. I like him. Over 20 minutes still to go here. Germany have had plenty of possession. That hasn't been their issue, really. It's what they've been able to do with it that's been the problem. You can see the reaction from Rotter there. Had the ball at his feet, looked up, and just not enough movement ahead of him. Not enough movement off the ball from his teammates. Not enough, or not too many options available to him. And in the first meeting, he did it ever so well to create space, find space, hold on to the ball. Not the best of passes there. Is a really good stop in the end. No, well, not. I believe in goal now for Germany. Difficult to see from the camera angle available. There's Kabadai. Cuts inside. And they're sticking close up. Kylian Don. On a hat trick. The French winger. Looks like Estrada Apua is getting ready to uh, come on. So to uh, Kudu, Diop, and Ndukidi. A number of changes for Le Bleu. Germany have numbers forward. They take advantage here. Lovely chance. Great save. And then cleared off the line as well. Opportunity to get back to within one there for oh, Germany. It's really good, bright attacking play. Almost giving France a taste of their own medicine. How quickly they work the ball forward. 
Made all the right decisions as well. Just couldn't come up with the finish. Starting to look a little more aggressive in their play now. Hopefully it isn't too, too little too late for Hannes Wolf and his team. Yannick Lewis also out there for Germany in the meantime, the number 14 at the back. Dink it towards the back post, Rotter closest to it. It's able to clear, but only as far as Collins. Well, a solo run attempt there. Comes back in, and Germany have a goal back as well. It's Raul Paula who hammers it into the roof of the net. A great finish. <laughs> My camera going to Alyosha Kenline there, but I'm pretty sure it was Raul Paula. Came up with that finish. Beautiful strike. Impressive play as well. All of a sudden, Germany with 15 minutes left. Have a chance to salvage something here. His second appearance, his first goal from Germany's under 20s. Chemline with the ball out wide. Bobsian making the run forward. Deciding not to use him though. Hansen with a little through ball. Now Bobsian on the ball. Decides to ship it out wide again. Ball in towards the near post. Kemline closest to it. Can't find any contact on the ball. Flag did go up though. So offside the decision. Any shot on goal would not have counted anyway. Down for France here. Like he's going to be able to continue. I believe it is Strada Apua. Germany with the throw. Ball back in play. play by Collins Didn't have too many other options really <laughs> well, that 
second goal for Germany. Let's give them the lead over the two games. The second graphic for you up in the top left hand corner. That's really good pressure. And Germany with a chance to counter attack. A little selfish there from Keke Top. He had options left and right, decided to take the most difficult route through the middle where the most defenders were in front of him. The best decision from Germany's number nine that time. Perhaps the fact that he hasn't seen much of the ball sort of spurred him on to try and create something on his own. But a pass out wide, be it left or right, would have probably been sensible option there in his cover die Germany keeping the pressure on played Should play there to pick up Diop. Tries to center it early. Easily dealt with by Germany. Runs under the boot of Collins. Thankfully, no French attackers in and around him. Into the final 10 minutes. We probably have three or four minutes added on. I've had a uh, one or two stoppages in this second half. breaks down. Another chance here though. The second wave comes to Raul Paula. And it's another goal for him. What a turnaround from Germany here. Raul Paula. Bags himself a second to level things up at three apiece. And Germany looked like they were down and out at three, nothing down. Now back on level terms and still have time to find a winner as well. And you can hear the French coaching team not at all happy. Understandably so. Give away a three goal cushion. And after an hour played, three nothing up, and with just half an hour still to go, you wouldn't have seen a way back into this. Hannes Wolf's teams. Sets of players not holding back with the challenges now. Both hunting for what will surely be the winning goal. The 
Here to see where the momentum lies at the moment. Incredible. 15 minutes for Germany. Nico Top putting away the penalty in the 67th. Paolo then. Pegging another back in the 74th. And now in the 83rd as well. What a bad delivery. Danger not over and France have the lead. And of course it's that man who now has a hat-trick. And Donk. And another fine finish. And he really has been an absolute menace. For the German side, out on that left wing. It's actually only going to be his second, the third French goal. Considered an own goal by Breunig. Five minutes is still to go. France lead 4-3. Germany lead 6-5 over the two games. As far as entertainment goes, these two teams certainly have put on a show during the international break. That's the right idea. Not the worst of balls there by Nandi Collins. Just slightly off target. Germany corner. Kick it top. Doing just about enough there. Bozia with the uh, delivery. A lot of height on that. This Hansen putting his boot through that half volley, but never really got his body over the top of the ball, leaning back slightly. And it rockets well over the crossbar. Bozien does well. Goes down and wins the free kick. On the left, decides not to use him. And she's looking to counter. That's a really well timed challenge. It needed to be as well. coming from that right side here in the second half for Germany. They have struggled to cope. Everything that has come down that flank. Pressure on the keeper. And a uh, Schalke winger, Yusuf Kabadai. Collins thinks about putting an early ball in. Stand Germany, try to remain patient. 
Uh, the, the clock running down. The, now perhaps KK Top able to get the shot off. Really good block in the end. Up. Oh, yeah, up, up. Taking a few more risks now, Germany as well. themselves a little open at the back but understandable they hunt for the equalizer having worked ever so hard to get themselves back into the game they want to come away with something come the final whistle there's a player down for France here Germany deciding to uh, keep it going though and they have their equalizer and it is a KK top with a really well placed header just nods it back across into the near corner the referee allowing play to continue correctly so 4-4 four, four now the score Nicky Top with the equaliser in the 90th minute his second of the game as well and the question is just how much stoppage time will we have few minutes <laughs> Mamadou Koulibaly coming back out as well will be able to continue he was the player that was down during that Germany equaliser one of his teammates a little frustrated that the whistle didn't go I didn't see too much myself. The rain is uh, pouring down here in these final moments. And he has picked up a bit of a drizzle before. More of a downfall now. of course could lead to a big mistake in the dying stages well covered by Yannick Lewis and again picked off by Germany's number 14 Raul Paula two goals for him here this afternoon Abadai is it enough to win the corner no is the answer Kick it up. Still going. That's what you want to see from your strikers. It just goes to show as a front man. Kick it up. Really hasn't had a lot of service throughout the entire game. He's still come up with two goals for his side, though. That is why he has that number nine. And he's such a, a talisman. Front for Hannes Wolf. Oh. 
Three and a half minutes of stoppage time already played. Conditions going from worse to worse. with the corner 94th minute of play might just be one of the last kicks of the game here Sent deep, punched away well. And that will wrap things up here. Well, what a game. France absolutely dominating things up until the 55th minute where they scored their third goal. And then Germany coming back strong after that brace from Don. An own goal by Breunig. Cho getting on the score sheet as well. But Raul Paula, second half substitute. With two goals to his name, kick it up. With two as well, that equaliser coming in the 90th minute. Which gives us a 4-4 final score here. 7-5 Germany overall over the two games. Winning the game on Friday 3-1. And drawing and sharing the spoils with France here this afternoon an entertaining international break between these two under 20 sides thank you for joining us for both of those encounters until next time stay safe and take care